every Tuesday, we get a chance to uh, sort of reset the clock a little bit and get a fresh perspective on things with our friend Dr. John Braccio, Regional Psychological Services, and uh, the man knows his stuff. Uh, Dr. Braccio, Merry Christmas, and uh, I guess I can say Happy New Year now. Well, yeah, before the New Year, whatever. Happy New Year. We're looking ahead. Hi, Doc. Well, how are you doing, buddy? I like that information on those Hallmark movies. I didn't realize $600 million bucks. That's not bad. Um, yeah, they do well on these. But, well, yeah. maybe this falls into your into your uh, wheelhouse there. Are uh, people, they're looking for uh, that, that, that emotional uplift that those uh, movies provide? Uh, they're looking to fill that gap, I guess? I don't know. It doesn't really lead into today's no segment, I know, but uh, every year we get a chance to renew ourselves, don't we? Well, we well we really do. In fact, you know, it's kind of at a kind of at a little different level than just you know losing weight or going to quit smoking. Today, we're really talking about making you know really 2023 the year we become who we believe we can. And you know, Mike, I'm an optimist. I believe that people can change at any time in their lives, regardless of who they are, where they've been. And too many persons, including psychologists believe personalities are more or less set in stone, and adults mm. and even adolescents do not change. I don't accept that view at all. Okay. If someone has a vision of who they want to be and will make the necessary changes, they can do it. I've seen it in many persons I have worked with over the years as a psychologist and one traveling the road of life. You know, while Rome was not built in a day, making fundamental changes in self requires hard work. It does, yeah. day in and day yeah. out. For example, one does not go from being a deceitful person on a daily basis to stopping in one day. The same is true of the person uh -huh. who's sarcastic and hurtful of others. And the chronic inappropriate flirt and philanderer also does not change overnight. No. However, change can occur with a strong beginning if the person declares those behaviors are not only who they are not, but are toxic to them as persons. And really, step one is determine who you want to be and know you can be that person. It's getting that vision. And that vision of yourself is always in your mind and your thoughts and actions are directed to being the per this person who you're going to be. <laughs> and who we are and how we behave are the most powerful tools we human beings have to determine who we are. In the course of life, we will make to that end. We'll take to that end. Whether small or major character remodeling, Really, we want to use 2023 as a launch pad to be who you choose to be for the rest of your life. And really go for yeah. it with super gusto. Your future really begins now, and why not take it while you can? Because these yeah. are things we can do while we're alive. Let's move forward and take control of our life. Yeah, you know, Be who we want yeah. to be. Find that person. And understand that there may be setbacks on that road. That's the oh, other thing, too, is you got to have that stick to itiveness and uh, that goal. Maybe write things down. Would you suggest maybe uh, posting stuff on the fridge? Sure. I, th I think journaling is helpful anytime. I think when you can aim for where you're going, because let's just take one that, we, that I run into a lot, the sarcastic person, the person who thinks they're funny and entertaining, okay, <laughs> but they hurt the feelings of people around them. You know, someone says, oh, I yeah. feel like an idiot. And the person says, well, you are an idiot. <laughs> I mean, oh, geez. yeah. It's, and so I think that, that that's, a, that's a group of people, and it's a large group. They think they're really funny. And, and again, that can be a, a real change. But to go from being sarcastic, being more sensitive, more tuned into people, that's really making a change in yourself. And, and, it, and it will pay dividends, whatever, you know, that, that, that's a key thing. People that are meek, I was talking to a person just a few days ago that that she had always been not trusting. You know, she grew up in a home where the parents were, weren't trusting good people, by the way, but you know, don't trust people, watch out. And, and be, she became an introvert, and she's certainly not now. But she said when she was around 20, she decided that really wasn't working for her. You know, she was a university student, and that she mm -hmm. was going to – change. She was going to be more trusting unless somebody, you know, obviously took advantage of her and was going to work on being more open, getting into more conversations, taking some more risk in conversations. And it worked. These are things that people can do. And, and if you're in relationships where you argue all the time, you know, oh, where right. you find that, you know, it, there, there can be two rights and there, and there are times that battles are best left on the battlefield and don't keep bringing them up. So I believe that if 
we really get a vision. We, 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 it's, really, it's complicated, but if you can sit down and say, you know, this doesn't work for me. You know, every time I call people idiot dummies and they don't know what they're doing, I don't know why, but they get mad at me, okay? They don't like it. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I'll take that out of my vocabulary and I'll start looking for positive things. And, and so I believe it's within us all, as long as we're alive, we do have these abilities that we can determine what we're going to do, how we're going to behave, how we're going to interact. These are skill sets that people have. And even even people that are don't have much sensitivity or caring, if they really want to, if they really want to change, I believe people can. And, and because I hear people say, well, that's the way he is and he's never going to change or she's this way. Well, that may be true with a lot of people, but it doesn't have to be you. You can be one of those people that determines that you're moving forward, taking control in your life, and you're going to make not only your life better, but you're going to make it better for those you interact with. Because you'll find there, there, are, there are fathers, as an example, and maybe mothers both, that were maybe not very good at that, but they turn out to be good grandparents because they've learned. They learned ah, that yeah. their, their strategies didn't work. They're estranged from children, or the children see them just because they're a parent or they get along with the other parent. And so eventually they change how they behave. So these are these are positive things, Mike. And really anybody can do it. I mean, it's not like it's a secret formula. The thing is you you kind of say, whoa, whoa, here. You can do it yourself. You can, you know, seek out a minister, you can seek out a therapist, you can do it with family. But basically it's taking a time out, taking and, and journaling, I think this is good, kind of writing down, you know, what you experience in the day and you know, right. someone made a comic. Cause, you know, there are people that really think they're funny, and they're not funny at all. I mean, they may be funny to a person. Or yeah, two, that'd be me. Oh, no, come on. You are, no, no. You're entertaining, and you, and you love Hallmark. I don't know. So you have to be a good guy. I'm well, I didn't say I loved him. I didn't say I loved him, Doc. I am not a Hallmark <laughs> movie fan. I will tell you that right now. I don't I do not uh, I don't do the Hallmark movies or the, oh, those Christmas movies. No. You know what we watched last night was Miracle on 34th Street. I have never seen that movie from the beginning really? to the end. I've never seen oh. the whole thing. Uh, I, it was in. Yeah, it was cool. We sat down. This is kind of one of those weeks we kind of do that stuff. I pull back on the amount of work I'm doing, and we, you know, for like the last uh, last weekend this week. So, and I think that's important too. Dr. John Braccio with us every Tuesday, uh, with good information, and you can make that change here in the new year. I would suggest uh, surrounding yourself with the kind of people you want to be, because that Absolutely. rubs off. Done. Oh, yeah, you are absolutely right. You know, it's, you really want, if you want to be around good, caring, successful people, you find them. You know, if you want to be a bum, you run around with a bum. One of my dad's old sayings, you know, that, that <laughs> you really do want to be, if you want to be a good person, a successful person, a satisfied person, you really want to find people that are like that. And if you're not fully there, good, go with those that know more than you or those that are or behave more civilized, whatever word you want to use for it, and just yeah. determine that this is what you're going to do. You need models, even if they don't know your, <laughs> your models. You want, yeah. to, you want to have those that are good, wholesome, and can help you be the person you can be. And, and I, I'm, I'm an optimist. I believe that everybody has within them the ability to be a better person than they are, you know, to be more effective, more too intuitive of other people's needs and their own because, you know, when people, the end of their life, who comes out and says, you know, I didn't hurt enough people in my life. Or, oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, no, people are thinking about things they might have done. This is why you hear people, you know, make will make a phone call. I've had a few of these, by the way, that people have actually thanked me. You know, and I've made a few calls. Because anybody who lives a life, there are people that have been helpful to them, that they that, that yeah. have made an impact on them. And those are the people that we want to say, wait a minute now, I haven't, been, the, the person who already helped me, I haven't been like that. I'm going yeah. to change and I'm going to make things better. That's, it's, a, it's a good way to be, my good way to lead a life. This is why I hang out with you, Doc. This is why I hang out with you. Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Braccio, Braccio, PhD. You find him and spell that B R A C C I O. Good Italian man. And Doc, we'll talk again to, uh, Tuesday uh, the, after the new year. Okay. Listen, good talking to you, my friend. Bye bye. All right, bye bye. Uh, Dr. John Braccio there every Tuesday with us. Mike Austin here on this end, thirteen twenty W I L S.